Hi, welcome to lecture number 12 of Ultimate Python course. So in this, we are, uh, before I start, I am going to share lecture slides and lecture notes with you in the description. You don't have to write it, don't waste your time. <clears throat> and the second thing is, I will be very slow while explaining the concepts. So watch my videos at 2x speed, it will save your time, okay? So what is that we are going to look at it, look at in this uh, lecture is, one is identity operator and the other one is membership operator, okay? So what is identity operator? Identity operators are used to compare the memory locations of two objects, okay? So what do I mean by that? If there are two objects, both are having value 1000, are they actually one object or are they two objects? Which means if 1000 is an object, in this case, A is pointing to a different object and B is pointing to a different object. But then both of them can point to the same object also. That is what we are going to learn about identity operator. Here, identity operator says that both of them are not referring to the same object. Operators in identity operation. Okay. So what are there in identity operation is 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 there, is not is there, is and is not is there. Now what is is and what is is not is? Is checks if two objects refer to the same memory location. If the memory location found, if the same memory location is found, it will return true, else it will return false. What is the meaning of it? What is the meaning of it? I'll just show you with an example. <clears throat> I will just write the example here. Okay. This is over. Huh? This is over. Yeah, here. So, so let us say there is an object whose value is 1000 and both A and B are referring to the same object. In this case, if you write A is B, if you write like this, A is B, it will return true because both of them are pointing to the same object, right? Now, if you write A is not B, here A is B, A and B both are pointing to the same object. When you write A is not B, A is not B, it will return false, why A is B, that is right. So, is and is not both are complementary to each other. If is is true, is not will be false. If is not is true, is will be false. And don't confuse yourself with equal to. Earlier, we have seen the operator equal, double equal. This actually compares the value not the address, right? So I will just take an example and explain you. Let us say 1000 is here and both A and B are pointing to 1000. Let us say one more 1000 is here and C is pointing to this. Now, if I say is A equal to C, the output will be true. The output will be true. Why? Because only, only value comparison has been done. That is why it is true. If I write is A equal to B, here also value comparison will be done this will give you true. Now, if I write A is B, both are pointing to the same object, therefore it is true. 
if i write a is c both are pointing to the different objects this object has a different address this object has a different different address this will be false this will be false i hope you got the difference now why do you need identity operator in general so identity operator is needed to check if two variables share the same memory location you have already seen something called as integer interning and string interning sometimes it will be helpful to know that both the objects are sharing the same memory space which means there is only one object and then you can also distinguish between mutable and immutable objects how in case of mutable objects the address will not change in case of immutable objects the address will change okay we will see this point later in detail not now and debugging will be very easy if you have the identity operator what are the examples of identity operator just let's go through some examples a equal to 10 b equal to 10 is given since you know already about integer interning both of them will get the same object and their address is same now you have printed that printed the address a is b is a and b same do they have the same object yes they belong they have the same object a is not b which means they do not have the same object but they have the same object that is why this is false coming to strings also you can do the same s1 equal to rbr s2 equal to rbr print id of a okay what will be printed the memory address of a will be printed right print id of b the memory address of b will be printed because of the string interning we got the same address now when you check if both the addresses are same or not by using is it is saying true when you are checking whether they are not equal it is saying false which means both of them are the same address now coming to large in large integers interning will not happen right a equal to 1000 b equal to 1000 print id of a print id of b so id of a and b are printed id of a and b are printed which are different which means two objects are created now when you ask if a is b it will say it is false when you ask if a is not b it will say it is true okay now large strings when it comes to large strings rbr sir is teaching toc and compiler design both of them are separately created both of them are separately created okay and if you try to see what is the address if you try to see s1 is s2 if you try to see whether both of them are having the same address or both of them are having the same uh, both of them are having the same uh, uh, this uh, uh, object now both of them are having the same object you are going to see that they don't have the same object they don't have the same object okay is not means not same then membership operator membership operator is used to test if a value exists in a sequence or not what is a sequence list tuple string all these are sequences right now let us take an example of a list now let us say there is a list which has three items apple banana and mango so this is how you declare a list within double quotes you will put the members right so apple banana mango print apple in fruit list which means is apple is in is apple in the fruit list yes apple is in the fruit list so it will return true now apple not in fruit list so apple is in the fruit list it is it is not in the fruit list is false that is why it is false now let us say <coughs> operators in membership operation now let us see in in returns true if the value is found in the sequence not in returns true if the value is not in the sequence that is what we have seen right in returns true if the value is in the sequence not in returns true if the value is not in the 
सीक्वेंस If in operator returns true, then not in operator will returns false. These two are mutually exclusive. If one of them happens to be true, the other will be false. These are match. These are mutually exclusive. Now let us look at a list. Okay, there is a list called fruit. This is how you write a list, right? You put the square braces and then you put the elements in double strings, double quotes. So. Apple, banana, mango is there. Is apple in the fruit list? Yes, true. Is apple not in the fruit fruit list? No, false. Is watermelon in the fruit list? No. Is watermelon not in the fruit list? Yes, it is true. Now let's see one more list, fruit list, for a tuple. It is a tuple. Okay, so tuple you are going to write like this, parenthesis. Normal parenthesis, and then within double quotes, you will put this string if it is a string. So apple in fruit list, yes, it is in the fruit list. True. Apple is not in the fruit list. False. Watermelon is in the fruit list. True. Watermelon is not in the fruit list. False. Oh, watermelon is not in the fruit list. Is true. Watermelon is in the fruit list. Is false. Is false. Okay. Just check it is simple. Now coming to a set. So in a set we have apple, banana, and mango. This is a set. Okay. Now apple in fruit set. True or false? It is true. Apple is not in fruit set. It is false. Watermelon is in fruit fruit set. It is true. Watermelon is not in fruit set. It is true. right now let's look at a string now let us say there is a very big string like this and now you can take any substring and you can see the matching for example is to in s1 yes to is there in s1 right therefore this is true is capital to in s1 no capital to is not in s1 Is capital T O not in S one? Yes, it is not in S one. Is T O C in S one? Yes, T O C is in S one. Is T O C not in S one? No, it is in S one. Is T O C followed by A N is in S one? Yes, T O C followed by A N is in S one. T O C followed by A N not in S one? No, it is in S one. So likewise, you are going to get true and false values. so guys we are working really hard to bring this course to you for free it is hell a lot of hard work all that i expect from you is to please subscribe to the channel ask your friends to subscribe to the channel and like and comment if you comment on the video our le our reach will increase we will be able to reach more people with such great videos okay thank you so much if you want to take my gate classes we go to the website ravindrababuraula.in and you are going to see all my gate classes available there okay so coming to the classes they are all recorded why am i doing recorded why am i not doing live classes is i have thousands of students registering for my courses every year but then if i conduct a live class only 20 or 30 people will be there 20 or 30 that's it maximum is 40 i had the reason is live classes are little bit wasting your time see you cannot watch a live class at 2x speed you have to watch at the pace at which i teach generally i will be very very slow while teaching so if you can go through the live classes you can watch them at 2x speed and you can complete the syllabus very fast 400 plus hours content is there for gate and if you are going to watch them at normal pace it will take 400 hours but if you watch it at 2x speed it will take just 200 hours right so if you want any of my gate classes gate computer science or gate da the price is just 10000 rupees it is very very reasonable for the kind of quality we provide we have test series we have doubt sessions we have videos we have lecture notes for every even you don't have to write any lecture notes i will provide you lecture notes for every subject you just have to sit back watch the videos at 2x speed and revise the notes short notes will be provided long notes will be provided formulas will be written in a separate notes everything will be there provided to you you don't have to work hard and coming to 
if you are planning to go abroad we also have study abroad program you can go through my number my number is on whatsapp my whatsapp number is in the website if you are planning to do masters abroad that is a very good choice it is better than doing masters in india so if you are planning to go abroad we will help you out right from the from taking the passport to getting the visa visa us visa right so we will help you out in the entire process okay so do visit the website see what is happening there even dsa course is there for 5000 rupees which is both in python and c++ okay so thank you so much